A Southern Illinois University Edwardsville music professor watched today's inauguration and the debut of her fanfare played by the United States Marine Band. Fox 2's Patrick Clark introduces us to the composer who created a musical arrangement to mark this occasion. It's a high note to add to her long musical resume, and it's a high C for the trumpet player in Kimberly Archer's fanfare, Politea. It's flutes, piccolos, oboes, clarinets, bassoons, bass clarinets, uh, three flavors of saxophone, <laughs> trumpets, horns, trombones, euphonium, God's own instrument, uh, tuba, and two percussion parts. I can type as I go and then it will play the pitches as I'm entering them. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's motorcade made their way to the inauguration. Southern Illinois University Edwardsville music professor Kim Archer's composition that she was commissioned to write was the soundtrack to that moment. This trumpet fanfare is, in my ears sounds a lot like John Williams. But these trombone parts here, which don't look like much on the screen, they sound like Roman trumpets or Roman fanfares, so a little bit like uh, a conquering general coming down the, the main drag in ancient Rome. When she received the news from the United States Marine Band January 2nd, she began crafting a composition. Days later, the Capitol was ransacked. All of this unfolding present day, what is put into the notes on a musical staff. Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, Dr. Kimberly Archer's Fanfare Politea is performed by the U.S. Marine Band, often referred to as the President's Own. There was a moment where the, the softer part of the prelude, or fan, sorry, Fanfare was playing, uh, and they were showing Joe Biden's motorcade coming up, and I thought, wow, the soundtrack to the inauguration. Archer's movement for the 46th President is three minutes of a musical story in modern-day America. In Edwardsville, Illinois, Patrick Clark. Fox 2 News.